it is our favorite day of the week, Friday and Foodie Friday. So in honor of Women's History Month, Jamaica Ponder is chopping it up with female chefs all month long. So Jamaica, good morning to you. And you're actually yeah. talking to, to one of my favorite chefs. I've met her a couple times, so she's wonderful. She's a community favorite she at is. this point. And that's kind of what the story is about, is her journey from being a, a line cook to being somewhat of a local celebrity. Yes. So she, like I said, has grown to be kind of famous in the neighborhood. And her name is Dominique Leach. She's appeared on the Food Network as both a contestant and a judge after years of working through some of the most prestigious restaurants in the city. Now she's most notably known for her own Lexington Betty Smokehouse in Pullman. And that's where we're headed today. You're catching Dominique Leach at the beginning of her day. Before it gets hectic. Right now, she's still at home with her wife, Tanisha, and their very spoiled dog, Bella. In their house, it's almost easy to forget who the famous one is. But soon, Chef Leach will have to say bye to Bella as she heads to her restaurant, Lexington Betty Smokehouse, where there's no question about who the star of the show is. When I'm at the restaurant, there's not a day that goes by that someone doesn't want to take a picture. So many people come in and uh, congratulate me. It feels so good because it's just not anything that I imagined for myself. From shows like Chopped to Firemasters and Barbecue Brawl, Chef Leach has solidified herself as a Food Network regular. I have so much more than I need to get framed. Making Lexington Betty Smokehouse a destination for foodies, meat lovers, and barbecue connoisseurs, both around the city and out of it. I mean, that's been really one of the most rewarding parts of this, being celebrated in my community. Oh, I want some banana pudding. It felt like I had arrived, yeah. and, and for that reason, you know, I like to you know, just be clear to people that, you know, I didn't wake up like this. It took a lot to become who I am, you know, a lot of tenacity. At one point, there were three Lexington Betty locations. It got the attention of a show on the Food Network Canada. With new attention came more travel, more accolades, more publicity, but less time in the restaurants. It took a lot of energy to uh, run and operate three locations, especially to cook food and separate it between three locations. So during COVID, Chef Leach decided to consolidate them all into this space here. With their growing popularity, the apparent downsize may have seemed a bit backward. I felt really detached from the business and it wasn't easy. So when I got back from Canada, we decided that we just wanted more work-life balance and the timing really lined up. Able to focus their attention on one Lexington Betty, as opposed to three, Chef Leach had the space to branch out and begin refining her personal brand, releasing a product line, hosting and making guest appearances at culinary events across the country, and of course, returning to the Food Network. Everything. And you're just trying to like navigate day by day through Chicago. You know, a lot of times you can't think about what your future is gonna look like because you're trying to survive the current day. So I feel really fortunate that, you know, I can be celebrated at this capacity because the young me, you know, just didn't dream this big. Chef Leach has grown to become one of the more recognizable chefs in the city, as you can see. And you can even catch her at events and pop-ups, but I always say the best way to get to know Chef is by swinging by her house. Her smokehouse, that is, not the other one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you can find Lexington Betty at 756 East 111th Street, and they have some of the best barbecue in the city. I was going to say, I feel like the, the couple times that I have done stories with uh, Dominique Leach as well, like walking into that restaurant, you immediately are just swept away by the scent of the barbecue and just everything. I mean, the baked beans, so delicious. She's really good at what she does. She really is. And I think that she's created a space where the community feels like they can really spend a lot of time and see themselves reflected in the menu. Yes. So she's just hitting and holding. I'm very proud of her. It's great to see. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Jamaica, thank you so much for bringing that to us. Although I could have used some ribs on this uh, 820 on a Friday morning, but next right. time, yeah. next time. All right. So we're just over a week away from a once in a white 